Now let's try to understand the whole process or the OSI format. Let's say machine A whose IP is 10.1.1.1 and whose MAC address is 0A is sending data to machine B whose IP is 10.1.1.2 and whose MAC address is 0B. So initially data will be at application layer. Data will move to presentation layer where data will be represented in its actual format. Further data will move to session layer where sessions will be created, maintained and terminated. Till here it will be in the form of data. But once it reaches the transport layer we will add a header to that data and that data will be divided into multiple segments and sequence number will be added to those segments. So the header which we will add to the data this will include sequence number, source port, destination port and TCP or UDP information and this format will called as a segment. Okay, after transport layer, data will move to network layer. IP protocol works at network layer. IP protocol is our internet protocol. So segment will be sent to IP protocol at network layer. Now IP protocol will add its IP header to the segment and the format will be called as packet. And this header will include these information that is source IP, destination IP and protocol number and this protocol number will be of either TCP or UDP. Protocol number of TCP is 6 and protocol number of UDP is 17. So segment plus IP header equals to packet. Further this IP protocol will hand over this packet at layer 2 that is data link layer and at data link layer ARPA protocol works. So ARPA protocol will add its header to the packet and this format will be called as frame and this header which will be added to the packet will include source MAC, destination MAC and type field because we are using IPv4 here. So the type field of IPv4 will be 0x0800. Now frame will be sent at layer 1 that is physical layer where frames will be converted into bits and that is in the form of zeros and ones and bits will be transferred to machine B. Bits will be transferred to machine B through cable to LAN card at layer 1 that is physical layer. Now this LAN card will convert these bits into frames and frames will be sent at layer 2 to ARPA protocol. Now this ARPA protocol will remove the header and will check the destination MAC address that will be 0B and it will check that it's its own MAC address which is 0B so it will accept that data and after removing the header remaining information will be sent to network layer and the remaining information will be of packet. ARPA protocol will send the packet to network layer on what basis? It will check the type field which will be of IP protocol that is IPv4. So it will send the packet at layer 3 to IP protocol. Now IP protocol will remove its header and check that the destination IP address which is of its own. So it will accept this packet and the remaining information will be sent to transport layer and the remaining information will be segment. Segment will be sent at layer 4 to either TCP or UDP. Now it will rearrange the data on the basis of sequence number and hand over the data to session layer. The session layer will further transfer the data to presentation layer and presentation layer will send the data to application layer. So this is how 
the communication will happen between two machines now machine b has received the data of machine a this was the process the whole process how communication will happen between them i hope this is clear to you guys so that's it for today if you like this video please like and share this video and if you are new to this channel please subscribe this channel and press the bell icon thank you for watching